Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Money Hub. In today's video, we're going to be going through the top seven most expensive mistakes ever. Now guys, real quick, before we do get into the countdown, I want to let you guys know that we will be picking one lucky subscriber every month to win a shout out at the start of a video. All you must do to enter is subscribe to our channel, like the video and comment down below saying I subscribed. Good luck guys. Now that any further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Do you know what priceless antique was destroyed on the set of Hateful Eight? Or which company lost more than $250 million in a day because of one typo? Find out as we look at the seven most expensive mistakes in history. Number one, the lost Euro Millions ticket. Across the world from Los Angeles to London, people love playing the lottery. Everyone who does tend to have some sort of quirk, trick or secret to how they plan on winning. As was the case with one elderly woman in England who had made a habit of recording each set of numbers she wrote down for the Euro Millions lottery before handing the ticket off to her husband. One week after having filled out her entry and the winning ticket remaining unclaimed, she decided to check the winning numbers and cross-reference them with her own. Sure enough, she had won the 181 million dollars recorded from that week. Unfortunately though, her husband, who had been running this errand for his wife for years, had apparently thrown away the ticket thinking it too to be another pipe dream like all the other tickets in history. The winning ticket at the time was the biggest jackpot ever in Euro Millions history. Number 2. The Isaac Peril Submarine in 2013, it was revealed that the new S-80 Plus submarine the Spanish were building had run into a bit of a hiccup. The first completed submarine called the S-81 Isaac Peril, after the highly celebrated Spanish naval captain, had the equivalent of $680 million invested in its development. In addition, a whopping $3 billion was poured into the project that would develop another three submarines as well. The only problem was that the first one completed couldn't even float. At 75 to 100 tons overweight, this undersea vessel needed a plan. At the Cost of $18 million per submarine, the Spanish Navy was able to extend the size of the hulls on the submarine, making them larger, bulkier, and longer than their original designs. But at least they could float. Then they ran into another hurdle. These designs made the submarines too large for the Spanish Navy's holding pens. It was estimated in 2018 that an additional cost of $18 million or more would be needed to upgrade the holding facilities as well. Number 3. Apple's Awesome Bargains One of the giants of modern computer innovation, Apple, vaulted from their humble beginnings to the supernova power they are now. Hard work and clever design definitely helped fuel their success, but a few lucky breaks at the expense of others helped them along the way. In April of 1976, the co-founders of Apple, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, signed on a third partner to oversee mechanical engineering and documentation of the young company. Ronald Wayne, an experienced engineer that had worked with Jobs at Atari, was to serve as the veteran super supervisor of sorts with Jobs and Wozniak being nearly two decades younger than him. But only 12 days after joining the company in exchange for a 10% stake, Wayne got cold feet. In order to fulfill one of their early orders, Jobs took out a $15,000 loan. Wayne being the only one of three with assets and any money saved, feared he would be left with a financial burden. And so he sold his 10% share which is valued today at $80 billion and he sold it back to Jobs and Wozniak for a mere 800 bucks. Apple got another stroke of luck in 1979 when Steve Jobs got to tour the Xerox headquarters in depth. Jobs facilitated the exchange of 100,000 shares of Apple stock at a price of $1 million and the opportunity to tour PARC Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center. It was during these tours of PARC that Jobs discovered the Xerox Alto, a personal computer that utilized the aid of a mouse to control an on-screen cursor, it was capable of quickly switching from one window to the next and even had email compatibility within the building thanks to the world's first Ethernet network. Jobs was elated, yet simultaneously frustrated as Xerox had yet to do much with technology. Jobs is quoted with shouting during the presentation of the Alto, why aren't you doing anything with this? This is the greatest thing. This is revolutionary. The Alto went on sale two years later and flopped due to slow underpowered operational speeds. Xerox had gone to leave the personal computer market altogether. But Jobs, he and Apple had bigger plans, as Lisa, Apple's 1983 release featured a mouse and other similar functions to the Alto at nearly $7,000 less. This still wasn't a huge hit, as IBM personal computers still cost much less. However, this chain of events would lead to the development of the famous high-grossing Apple Macintosh in 1984. Number 4. 
The Millennium Bridge At the turn of the century, the world was stricken with millennium madness. The future was within arm's reach and everything from pop music videos to the Guinness Book of World Records was already there. To celebrate the monumental occasion, the City of London decided to build a unique bridge across the River Thames, the likes of which the world's never seen. But perhaps they were thinking too far into the future as the resulting and aptly named Millennium Bridge was closed only two days after opening in June of 2000. The bridge, which was a steel suspension footbridge, was found to sway as pedestrians strode across it on opening day. The movement by the people crossing the bridge resonated throughout the bridge causing a small rocking motion along the structure. As more and more pedestrians traversed this bridge though, the subconscious effect of a mass of people stepping in sync with the rocking made for a quickly escalating danger. This $23.6 million investment jumped an additional $6.5 million as adjustments were made to counteract this oversight. Number 5. SNCF Railway Goof with an incredible railway system throughout France, the national train operators known as the SNCF decided the country was due for an upgrade in the early 2000s. At a cost of more than $20 billion, SNCF ordered 2,000 new trains. It wasn't until the trains were constructed and delivered though that the French operator realized they'd made a huge mistake. By only 10 to 20 centimeters, the newly constructed trains were built too big for their tracks. Apparently, the plans for these trains were modeled off a new railway specification and didn't account for the size of most railways throughout the country. As a result, an additional $68 million was required to widen the tracks. But that only covered some of the railways. In addition, it was found out later that they were also built too tall to enter Italian train tunnels. The mistake of the SNCF continues to rack up costs, as French taxpayers foot the bill. Number 6. Hateful Eight Guitar Incident When actress Jennifer Jason Lee was on the set of Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight, she had an excellent opportunity to play a piece of history on loan from the Martin Guitar Museum. A priceless six-string from the 1870s, there was just one small issue. No one had told Kurt Russell. For those who haven't seen the film, spoiler alert, Russell destroys the guitar following a scene in which Lee, who played his criminal captive, goads him into lashing out in anger. According to crew members who were on set that day, Russell was supposed to play out the scene as normal, then the scene would cut to switch the guitar out for a prop, but word didn't reach Russell as he continued with the scene as scripted, shattering the antique in the process. This accidental obliteration resulted in the Martin Guitar Museum's resolution to never lend another piece to Hollywood. Not a complete loss though, the crew captured the scene on camera and were able to use it in the film, including Lay's very real reaction to seeing Russell annihilate the invaluable period piece. Number 7. Riverside Apartment Crash No matter the culture you come from, there's just something magical and romantic about living beside a river, unless that river seeps under your home, causing it to come crashing down. In 2009, Block 7 of the Lotus Riverside Apartment Complex in Shanghai, China, toppled to the ground, narrowly missing the other apartments. This 13-story building was in the middle of having a parking garage constructed underneath it, as water from the nearby riverbed seeped into the dirt beneath the building. A perfect storm bread from the hollow base, displaced soil and now muddy foundation beneath the structure colossal in a supersized Jenga fail. This accident resulted in one casualty and millions in lost revenue as the complex valued at more than $2,000 per square meter found itself with little to no tenants willing to pay the requested price afterwards. Well, there you have it guys, that was the top 7 most expensive mistakes ever. If you did enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.